all of a sudden, Arctic uh, Outpost went country on us. Um, Alton Elizabeth and Scavago Van Buren uh, coming to you live from uh, New York City. Uh, QQ, we're not calling it Quarantine Kitchen anymore because most of you aren't in quarantine anymore. Heck, most a lot of people have been vaccinated already. So we're just going to call it QQ. And those of us that remember, remember. And, and that'll... It really kind of unnerves me when she sits up <laughs> like a chip. I mean, like a, a prairie dog. What? What? Smelly prairie dog. Smedley, who's with us? Smedley's here. Um, so, no, uh, Smedley's, not. Smedley's not. No, that's right. Yeah. Smedley's. So, um, we are here at our, uh, our, uh, our, our small, 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 small uh, New York, tiny New York City apartment, which we have not begun to renovate yet. Uh, we're up here uh, on business, so we thought that we would uh, go ahead and uh, and join you guys uh, for a little bit of uh, merriment. Hence the uh, vast expanse of whiteness we've got. On. A lot of, a lot of, yeah, a lot of, a lot of cheap counters and, uh, and, and whiteness <laughs> here. We did lean up painting up against the wall, and and of course it wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't be QQ uh, without uh, with without some flowers. Uh, Elizabeth's got some flowers going here. Yeah. There's a uh, Sebastian. We brought him Maybe from Atlanta. Journey. Brought him in a Ziploc bag. We brought him. Even didn't so, make the journey with puff. Puff did not make the journey, so and I'm she is happy. pretty pissed off that there's no Puff. There's, oh, you moved her bed. There's not even a bed in she, here anymore. She was not wanting to do anything. She's not going to stay in here. Mm -hmm. You know that, right? No. Oh. We'll have to go visit Sorry, her scabs. where she does a light. Uh, She's on my pillow. Or your pillow. She'll be on one of our pillows. And that's the thing about when you, when you come to New York with a dog, you have to remember to wash their feet before they get on your pillows, because there's some nasty there's some nasty shit out there on the streets. Um, so, as usual, um, tonight we're listening to... You can probably hear Arctic Outpost Radio, look that up online, uh, jazz from the uh, 78 age, right? And uh, here's your glasses. Um, and also brought to you by the fine folks, the armies of people at altonbrown.com. Armies. Armies. They are, they are the information, interns alone. and they are ready to go because... We do have a special announcement They're going tonight. to be very busy tonight. You guys, we're, we're going to get this over and get to the, to the... Well, this is part of the drinking. Just segue. Um, I said that there was going to be an announcement. If, if you guys follow me on Twitter, I said that there was going to be an announcement. Or was it Twitter? I don't remember. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I said there was going to be an announcement, uh, but we're making this announcement to you guys first with a special offer for QQ fans only. Uh, so I am uh, pleased to announce that uh, starting right now, my own coffee blend. That's right. Um, it is called the multitasker uh, because uh, I've specially uh, blended. No, you're in the way. Uh, specially <laughs> blended this coffee uh, to be suitable for every possible conceivable mode of brewerage, uh, from a hand drip to mocha pot to French press uh, to Aero press. It's and all you there. Developed it, right? I, I developed this with my friends at Bad Door from Bronson, um, sustainably, responsibly uh, purchased. Um, from from top-notch growers. This is a combination of uh, three beans. Oh, I'll actually, where's the one that's already open? I don't want to open this one. Oh, here we go. Uh, three different beans. Beans that are from uh, a very specific farm in Nicaragua, uh, one in Costa Rica, and also Sumatra. And uh, what we decided to do was to uh, brew it, sorry, roast it, basically to a, uh, to a, a city roast. So it's just a, a little bit lighter uh, than what some of you might be, might be used to. Not um, super duper dark, but it's really It's not super duper dark, tasty. but I incredibly mean, flavorful. And, uh, and so, yeah. So here's, here's the deal. We are offering, why am I putting that there? I need to put this, I'm getting lost. They're gonna look out the window. Um, <laughs> we're offering, there are 400 signed bags, suitable for framing. And you signed by you. Signed by me. Actually, Did I not say that? Yeah. I, yes, not by robots. Sign. Signed by me. 400 of these going on sale mm -hmm. now. So if you go to altonbrown.com, mm -hmm. go to the shop, you'll be able to link through to Bad Door from Bronson, and uh, the 400 of you uh, will get the, uh, the signed bag suitable for framing. Damn fine coffee. Good coffee, sustainably um, raised and sourced, are not incredibly cheap. Uh, this is a, a 1650 bag, 12 ounces of beans for 1650, and you'll be able to choose. Um, you can grind it yourself if you like, uh, but then if you if you wish to, at the point of purchase, you'll be able to decide, um, uh, choose a grind method or a brew method, and they'll grind it for you. So, uh, years in the making. Years. Very proud. And I my black coffee days are over, but. Um, we tried it finally last weekend, and 
It is so drinkable. Like just straight up coffee. It really, really, really is. <clears throat> I'm man, very man proud of this. Yeah. I drink a lot of blends to get to that one. Yeah. I had the jitters for weeks and weeks because they supplied me with bags of coffee from all over the world and I mixed and brewed and brewed and mixed and then when I thought I had it right, I had to go and try it with all the different methods, different grind sizes. Uh, so it was a long time to so exhaustive search. For the it was an exhaustive state. search. So uh, there you go. Altabrow.com. Buy yourself some multitasker. Buy it for uh, your friends, even those that don't like coffee because they'll give it to somebody else. It's so good. And the reason this is important. For tonight's Cocktail. Because we're going to be making a coffee-based cocktail this evening. Actually, Elizabeth's going to make it while I just say instructions. Um, we were I'm actually to uh, was feeling... Writing. What's that? Try to read your writing. Is that... Do I look overdressed? I look like somebody from Masterpiece Theater. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here, I, I don't I want to... think so. I was cold today. Yeah, it was and, chilly. And so I, I put this sweater on. Um, chilly in New York. Okay, the Siciliano. This is, uh, we stole this from uh, Bon Appetit magazine uh, because we wanted to try it because it looked. I'm not uh, sure why it's the Siciliano. By the way, yes, I'm, I'm just storing the um, the coffee in the in the right in the microwave. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna read it to you. So this this depends on having really good coffee on hand, if, but it's it's pretty simple if if you if you've got some of this stuff around. So do you do you, do you want me to? to would you get, we're gonna, do you wanna make this in glasses? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna make this uh, in the glasses. Oh, well, I know, what, 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 what would you like me to do? I can do? No, I, think, I, I think that's fine. You're just gonna have to do some, some measuring. You, you can do that um, all back there. Everything's back there. So it's uh, two ounces of sweet vermouth. Uh, we're, of course, uh, using uh, Antica, uh, just because that's kind of the standard of the industry, at least it is for us. But we have, uh, Amaro is also in here, and we have three different ones to choose from. Have you decided which Amaro you would like to use, sweetheart? I, for myself, am going to use the Amaro Angelino. Okay, so we've talked about the which Amaro Angelino uh, before. Uh, it's an orange-infused Amaro made in Los Angeles. Wait, so this is two ounces? Great. Is that a bit of vermouth? Yes, in each one. So, Sheila, why don't you make yours with the um, Angelino, yeah. and then make mine with the... Uh, this other one, um, this is uh, called Marseille uh, from, uh, I can't even read that. Uh, I don't know how, the, but, but it's made in like New York, I think. I think it's made in Brooklyn. Brock the USA, yeah. Um, from uh, Fav, Fortha, Forthave, Forthave. And actually it's got like a um, plague mask. All I know is it's got like a plague mask on the front. So I, don't, I just wish that my, the masks that I'm still wearing um, were like that. So I'm gonna have one made down. Is that? What do you have in there right That's now? That's two ounces. Holy crap. Then it must be for two. That's a crap load of booze. <laughs> um, so um, clearly Bon Appetit wants to get us schnockered. schnockered. Um, so I tell you what, why don't we do that into uh, the mixing glass yeah. and then and then split it. I was you, So I, I didn't think about the fact that Bon Appetit was going to have each of us drinking a six ounce uh, drink. So two ounces of uh, sweet vermouth, one and a half ounces of Amaro uh, of your choice. They call for a Verna, but we didn't have any. Um, one and a half ounces of strong black coffee, and then some simple syrup and uh, to be topped with club soda. So I think we'll do it in the mixing glass. They put it, yeah, that, get it mixed up, then we'll throw some ice in there. Oh, we don't have an ice machine, okay. so I'm gonna have to. So two ounces vermouth. That's two ounces? Holy moly. Wait. All right, um, two ounces of sweet vermouth, one and a half ounce of the Amaro, my darling. All right, what's yours? I've got this tilted the wrong way. There. Oh my gosh, what angle were we using? Well, we're, one and we half. were using the, um, that should be one and a half ounces of Amaro in each of those. This is gonna be the only drink we need tonight. I just, I hope it's good. If, it, if it's not good, it won't be because of, of my this coffee. Is, what? No, how many ounces of coffee? Um, and then the same of coffee, one and a half ounces of coffee. Coffee's in the freezer. Nope. Because I, oh, there you go. But now you're gonna need ice. Yeah, yeah. And, uh. Simple syrup? What? Simple syrup? Yes, but you know what? They call for an ounce. I think that's too much. Let's go with half an ounce. So you know what? It's gonna be a lot easier. Just to go with a tablespoon. Uh, two tablespoons total. There you go. And, uh,. I don't know what to put this ice in here. I'm gonna put it on this. How was your week? Have you had a good week? We had a, I would tell you that we had a delightful drive. We drive, 
We drive. Find it. We drive. Um, we do not have a delightful drive because we were in thunderstorms the entire way. Okay, here comes the ice. Do you have a... Here, just use a chopstick. And we should pr probably still have some ice cubes in the glasses because I don't know Where if this is going to be. Where are your oranges for the garnish? Um, I got the, the garnish thing, but what's in that? That's my old one. Oh. Are making okay, well here. Oh, you're going to make... Well, we're both going to have to have the same... Okay, well, that's fine. For now. I'm sorry. I know, it's really you... fun. This doesn't really make sense, does it? But it, it says to serve it on, on rock, so we're going we're gonna to do that. Although, um, and then we're going to top it with uh, some soda, club soda. We've got some Pellegrino. That counts, right? Top it up. So, okay, good luck. Uh, okay, well, here we go. And then garnish it with some hard uh, soup. So, bon appetit, clearly. Not looking out for our best thing. Best they do know how to party. <laughs> there you go. That leaves. That's all the. There we go. Wowzer. And it says to garnish with uh, with orange. So, I you know what? I'm going to tell you right now. I just don't like drinks on the rocks. I. Okay. I just. Well, it's, it's, it's Sicilian, so it's got to be, you know. I don't, I don't know. I, are you guys, the, the older I get, the more I just don't, I don't like rocks drinks. I, I, Not on the rocks. I don't love on the rocks. Are we going to see that? Drink it tonight. Not on the rocks. Really? We're going to do Neil Diamond? <laughs> I don't know. So I've played, I played at a bunch of theaters where, where Neil Diamond's played, and I've heard some stories. Really? He requires, yeah, he, he requires pipe and drape. You know what pipe and drape is? So pipe and drape is when you, you run metal pipes up on stands yeah. with, with, with black drapes so that you can create a tunnel. Oh, so they go and seize So I, I've been told, I've been told that uh, Neil Diamond requires pipe and drape all the way from his dressing room to the stage so that no one sees him and he sees no one. Well, this is what I've heard. It could be a complete lie. So this is how I'm going to, I'm um, waiting. But then, here, do you want a splash of, um, do I not have any? Of, did you club soda? I don't think I club soda. All right, a little bit of club soda. And it is cold. In the end, I just want the coffee to not be I'm bad. I'm drinking this You're having as instructed. Yeah, I, I'm just. I, I don't disagree with you about rocks-ness, but here we are. Okay. And? Which, um, which Amaro? went into this one? Plague Was this the, uh, the plague mask? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. <laughs> I didn't very well. I think, I think you, um, as always, were right. Um, and it needs a little more hooch anyway. So um, the coffee and the orange, I think, will be good. So I'm putting okay. a little more. Well, here. that was my original. Now I'm getting well, started know, with this one. But, but this will be... Pour it back in here. I, I don't. I don't hate gotcha. it. Gotcha. Nope. I'm gonna dig it out. Take, take out your. Oh my God, you're so grumpy. I'm not grumpy. I've had a. No, you haven't. You've had a wonderful day. I've switched over to a Hawthorne strainer from a Julep strainer. I'm tired of making messes, so I'm. Well, that's because I ordered that one for you. Oh, did I order a Julep? Yes, you ordered it. What? No, you got that for me. Us. <laughs> I say that as though I'm the only one that drinks here. Is that better now? Yeah. So, I agree. more orange is, is better. More orange. One of these is going to send us to the uh, cuss jar. It's going to be you like, that. by the way, the yeah, but I didn't bring the cuss jar, so it doesn't count anymore. Somebody else keep track, please. I think you're already in there, already. Yeah, somebody else keep up with if I say um, fuck shit damn or um, <laughs> does damn even really count on YouTube as cussing? It's damn. pretty much just fucking shit, isn't it? I mean, what else? I mean, there's some words I'm not going to say anywhere, anytime. So that's I don't it. Know. Damn doesn't count. Guys, on YouTube is damn cussing? Dang? No. Fucking shit. Those are the only two that really count. Okay. Hmm. Arse. The coffee with the orange. This is now a balanced drink. I would give it a couple of shots. Do we have any bitters, my sweet? My only issue. Hold on. Oh, 
Do you know if we have any? Don't make it look like I'm sending you out to get. If I'd known it wasn't in the room, I wouldn't have asked her to go for it. I wouldn't. Dam or dams, exactly. If we're talking about, you know, the Aswan Dam or or things like that, then then we wouldn't even. Hey, how about that boat in the Suez Canal? I thought that was kind of hilarious. Um, if somebody doesn't turn that into a laxative commercial, I'm just done with everybody. Because you know, even the soup, sweetheart, wouldn't it be a great la no? no? Wouldn't it be a great laxative commercial? Even the Suez Canal <laughs> gets blocked up sometimes. I mean, sometimes you get a big Japanese cargo ship sized, you know what, and it gets stuck <laughs> sideways in there. And the best thing you can do is bring in a bunch of tugs. You need something. And you know what the tugs are? Prunes. Prunes are the tugs oh. that will push the ever given out your... They're not tugs, then. they're push boats. Well, they call them tugs in the news. Just because you used to be married to a merchant marine doesn't mean you have to. Is really? There's a difference between a push boat and a tug. A, a tug pulls, which we don't want to talk about that. And a push boat. Well, why don't we? Pushes. Why don't we want to We're talk talking about, about prunes? So I, I would prefer my prunes. To push. I don't think they're gonna do a lot. They can't pull. Only a suppository could pull. Because it would have to go in the other end. Okay. Don't be like the Suez Canal. <laughs> Eat your vegetables. Or you're gonna get a big Brand. Japanese cargo ship. How did they get sideways? They turn a parallel park? Like, I don't understand. Well, they said it was the wind. Oh, the wind. I think it was called human error. Sideways. Sideways. Sometimes things just go sideways. Sometimes things do just go sideways. God knows. Um, I have experienced sideways a lot of times um, in my life. Do we have any other news to talk about? Do we have anything, anything else to go over this week? Thankfully, no. We don't have any champagne to savor. I did not go buy champagne. Or today, we could have. I could have tried a spoon. Because one of these days, I'm not going to be able to do it, and I'm going to be a complete failure. I know. But until then, my man you're just gonna very, go. very entertaining. Um, <laughs> tonight's dish is well, so, multiple dishes, really. Some basketball news? What the, what the hell? Oh, there's been stuff going on. I don't understand. Hey, you fixed your phone. We're not having to... I know. Like we did last week. Yes. It's, it's, like a, it's like a 3D movie. I did. Did I'll bum myself. Um, what, what was the setting? Well, that's what somebody said. It was just good or never for brightness. It's just that when you're holding the phone, it doesn't ever go off. So I didn't oh. know that it was a problem. Oh. It's just when it's stationary. Like even yet last week when I was moving it around, I didn't do it. But. Oh, before I forget this, because I am going to forget this. QQ fans, I just want to say thank you. A lot of you have been coming to Cameo and uh, hiring me to do videos for your loved ones and whatnot. Thank you. That is going to fund a new project. Uh, and because... one person had me, poor thing, I, had, I sent a birthday. So you did. Really... You, you did sing happy birthday to somebody. I did. But we should get more for that, don't you think? No, I think it's Because you're going to want to cut. Anyway, we're trying to fund a new project that we're not going to talk about yet. But anyway, that's that's why I'm on Cameo. We appreciate your support there. So. And you're a great father. Look at what you do. All right, tonight. So, this is so, a little different. We're going to do something that we're really big fans of. Which we were anyway. But the whole, we're, we've gone pescatarian for, I guess, maybe kind of a Lent. Story. We're kind of. I don't know. It was going to lie last. But we've been pretty good when your dog looks so much like a pig Makes it's hard to <laughs> eat meat because you realize how very close you are she is just, just uh... so we've we've uh, laid off the, the meat and have gone uh, pescatarian because she doesn't look like a fish so one of the things that we're huge fans of and this has been a kind of a trend don't you've yes. heard people do it do you know people that have done it i didn't know it was like a movement well Speaking of movements, <laughs> don't let, don't be like the Suez Canal. Uh, um, well, I know that the first time that I had this was in a, in a wine bar in Boston. Where, I didn't know where it was they were this. doing this. Well, I think it's a thing. Okay. We're going to make a tinned fish board. That's right. We're going to make a... a, a you probably just saw numbers go down. Yeah, like our numbers <laughs> drop. Oh, yeah, there it goes. We are going to, to make a, 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 a party board. 
um, from Tinned Fish, for which we are already really, really big fans of. Um, and, and hopefully you will be, or at least be willing to get If you're not try. already. So the, the thing that you love about Tinned Fish is? I, well, I have emotional reasons because um, my, of my grandfather. So I spent a lot of time with my maternal grandfather when I was a kid. And on like, um, he, we would always watch uh, NFL football games on, on the weekends. And he would make, at halftime, we would have canned uh, Campbell's tomato soup, a can of sardines, and saltine crackers. And it was fantastic. So I've, so loved, I've loved sardines, canned sardines, in, in olive West, oil, never yeah. water, never Everyone does water. tuna. And the grocery store we were just at, well, it's got glass jars of tuna, glass jars cans of tuna. Of tuna. Yeah. yeah, that's the good stuff. But tin fish stuff. is so healthy, it's so healthy. It's incredibly it's sustainable. Quickest. See, eating things like sardines, eating small fish that mature quickly, mate quickly, die quickly, and live in large shoals are much more sustainable than eating something like a big yellowfin tuna or a swordfish or something, a pelagic fish as we call and it, that travels them, the seas. None of them are, are farm raised. No, they're all, you can't, you can't farm. I mean, you can farm raised sardines, but there's no reason to right, right now. The, the, the fisheries are very, very plentiful. Okay. So, um, we buy tinned fish from all over, all over the and world. They're so, and again, them. you know, health stuff. But they're really healthy High, and they're a great source of calcium. And omega because the sixes bones. and omega nines and all omega that. omegas and blah, blah, blah. So they're really good. So if you're not doing dairy stuff or whatever, it's a really good source of calcium. Then. Well, it's true because you're eating the bones. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, yeah. so tonight the fish that we will be featuring, uh, oh, I, I actually put them up here. The thing about setting up a, a board is that you want to have several different kinds of fish if you can, maybe prepare it a couple of different ways, or you can do a flight. Um, do you want to do, do that one? Well, because I mentioned... So what, one of my favorite... Oh, maybe this is also... One of our favorite, um, and this is a, a Spanish brand, um, which you, is called uh, Jose Gourmet. Uh, you can get these actually on Amazon, and we're going to be using the lightly smoked. They have very, very clever designs um, on their on their cans. These are the lightly smoked in olive oil. These are sardines. Where, well, how many do you want to do? We've got a lot here. Do you want to do four? I was just looking at the difference. This is from Bar Harbor, Maine, I guess. Okay. Baltic well, why don't we why don't we do that so we can? What? Bar Harbor and the this Baltic at the same the time. Baltic. So I know why this is important. Well, okay, this is the only brand that I know of, um, Bar Harbor, which packs their sardines so that you can see the little little creatures. This is something else, the reason that I bought these. Oh, I thought that was a sticker. No, I think that's them. Well, you're right, that's the um, Yeah, because you can push on it and then yeah. move around. Um, this is important. You want to look for this uh, this certification uh, for sustainability. That's a hard thing to get, and that means that uh, those have been caught um, sustainably. So we're going to eat those. We're going to have the uh, Jose Gourmet light smoked, and if we only do three, well, which which one would you do? Would you do the mackerel or the rainbow trout? Well, it's, it's tough. There's two other uh, brands uh, that we're really, really fond I'm, of: I'm um, Coles and uh, Bella. So this is smoked trout. And this is uh, Let's do the this is mackerel. Let's do trout because um, it's the least like. It's packed in um, olive oil. Mackerel, um, whole different fish, of course. So we'll save that for another time. And we'll do the trout along with the two different kinds of sardines. So you're gonna set yourself oh, up a tin see. fish board. Think about. Holy mackerel. No, we're not gonna say holy mackerel tonight. Oh, uh, we're gonna go with three. You want to have at least three. Now, very often, uh, people will include uh, either some of the high-end uh, jarred tuna or um, squid or octopus, which are also available in cans, or mussels. Um, I don't eat octopuses, octopi. Except for last night. Except for, did you have to bring it up last night? <laughs> I don't think that was even her real name. Takoyaki, yeah, I did eat that. Um, it's just that octopuses are really, really smart, but there's some very, very good tinned octopus around. Mm. If you haven't dabbled in tin fish before, these of course are fully, fully cooked. The trick is to come up with really inventive spreads, garnishes, things like that uh, to put with them and to have a really groovy board uh, to put them on. Elizabeth got us. That's what I do for a living. Ugh. Shop. Oh, actually, it's kind of what I do for a living. Kind of a great job. This is uh, one hell of a. It's fish shaped. 
it is, well, it's shaped kind of like a sardine tin. So we're going to be uh, dosing out on, on this guy. Do you want to, here, you want someone to put it right across here? Yeah, let's go I'm going to move, should I move the Danks? Danks. Danks it. Um, any of you that have any old dance cookware at home and you do not want it, contact me. Us. us. Either one of us. I'm more likely to respond as you guys know. To That's now, true. So. All right. So what's cool, and this is what I didn't ever think of doing this, is um, tinned fish toppers. So I guess you put with a... We, we stole this from... Epicurious. We stole this from Epicurious. We have been serving, um, typically what we do is we we have things like mustards and hot sauces and things like that, yeah. served with crackers, um, bread. But um, on Epicurious, we saw that they, they actually suggested uh, some kind of um, relishes, really. Aren't they? Yeah, basically. Well, so we're going to steal these directly and manufacture them uh, for you tonight. Okay, so do you want to do... I don't care. I just want to chop and, and slice and dice because it's what I do best. Okay. Especially when I'm drinking. Do we have orange? There's one right there. Segments. Look, I'm going to pull this out of the camera. <laughs> Nothing want, in my hand. Uh, do you want um, a mixing bowl then to mix this stuff? What? Mixing bowl. Um, it would be better to mix in a mixing bowl and then move into... One of the things that you want to... Tell them, tell them about these... These are great little dishes to oh, keep around. These are from a great place. Yeah, these are little... Always try to have yourself some little bowls for... Little, awesome little bowls. If you hear me yelling into his ear, his, his hearing has gotten worse in the last two weeks. And I swear... I've been having a talk like this! What? What? Seriously, I'm like... I feel like an old married couple. What? Bar. I'm not... He didn't even notice when I'm yelling half the time. It's... What? There's certain things you can do that I would notice right away. <laughs> That's one of them. Okay. Diced segments. What? Medium Look, orange. I'm not I'm not oh. deaf. No, we are gonna use these amazing bowls. We'll I know you're watching. So Lauren I'm going to Patrick. No, they're not watching. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Hang on, hang on if you're watching. Um, what the hell? I don't know. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this into some crumbs. Supremes. So this is a such a, a basic uh, culinary move. If you want to get the good part out of um, Supremes, oranges, like you, you cut. It's like the Supremes, no only it's pronounced no the Supremes. No I'm trying to get. Eight, there are some people that are low enough. So you take off both ends, and then. And are you gonna want? You want both the black and the green olives? I think a mixture of the uh, Chirignola and the uh, Kalamatas. So many of you have complained in the past about my bad pronunciation of Italian words on programs like uh, Iron Chef America that I've hired my, my daughter, who is uh, fluent, to, uh, to teach me Italian. So I'm gonna be able to watch The Godfather, hopefully without subtitles, or, or at least eight and a half, uh, sometime soon. So, well, I didn't do a very good job there. This is the only knife we have in this apartment other than, Elizabeth, you know we have a folding bread knife. But I guess you knew that. I did not. You don't know we have a folding bread knife? People, I, not too many people have seen that. I don't know. I used to like, pride myself on my kitchen knowledge. I got this in France. This is a folding bread knife. You didn't know we had that? No. Oh. We have that. I don't eat bread. Well, you don't eat bread. Well, you eat gluten-free bread, which yeah. I would you guys excuse me while I drink a moment? All right. Maybe just okay, so back to the Supreme. So now what you do is you can see the dividing line of a membrane in each of the segments, and you cut down towards the middle and the other side, and you pop out the Supreme. So that's a piece of orange with no connective tissue at all. Oh. I will, no, also, I need, I will also need a small glass. Mm-hmm. Small. Obviously, um, pretty small. Now, this is the kind of thing you would want to do if you were putting orange segments into a uh, salad. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. so this is starting to look just like any bag. This is like one of those, how Russians cut oranges, only on YouTube. This is how we do it. What's wrong with Russians? 
Well, no, there's like this whole series of videos about how Russians do things. Oh, see, I went down the wrong side. Oh, I messed that one up. Oh, I'd be fired. I was working in a real kitchen. Fire yourself? I'm not going to fire myself, no. I've had one of the nice out. things about working with your, for yourself is that you don't fire. You don't have to get fired. But it, it didn't want segments. It wants us to uh, actually, like, cut these into something, right? Like, chop, chop them up? Is that right? Mm -hmm. What do the instructions say? Or because it's Epicurious, the instructions aren't very clear. Oh! Sorry, Epicurious, but it's true. Maybe they're really like I, you know, them, listen, like... there's been a major, major, to me, slide in how um, recipes are written in this country, which is why I'm working so hard on Good Eats 4, the final years, coming to a bookstore near you. Or... That, you know that book that we cooked a wonderful Indian dish out of? Yes. I remember we were laughing, it was like, Okay, so here's what you do. So Wear it up. If you've got some vodka, you just uh, you can squeeze this, get the rest of that juice out, and you've got your uh, screwdriver making. Some... Oh shit, that's not really. Good. Okay, kind of fill swear. that, fill that with vodka, and you've got a screwdriver. What was kind of a swear? Nobody's actually counting because they like when I swear. I know, but you know. So what are you doing? Uh, what are you doing to those olives? I am. You know, when it's just you and me, it's okay if you just bite into it and spit out the pit. I've had your spit before. It's okay. You know I me? Mean? Well, no. they're not. But I don't think they want to see that. And these don't. <laughs> okay, if we didn't lose it with the Suez Canal. <laughs> There's the pit. Huh? That's how that shit gets done. Gosh. What? Okay. I don't think it's how Julia Child would do it. Maybe you know exactly what? You don't know. Do you don't know what Julia Child did at home. Oh, we don't. You think that movie Julia and Julia told you anything? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> huh? Where? Well, yeah. I'm not on television. That girl knew how to party. These are really good. I might swallow one. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I probably wouldn't do it this way if I was having company. Uh oh, I left the pit in that one. Okay, we're good. How many of the, how many of these do we need? Oh, it's six. Luckily, the Kalamatas have already been pitted. Okay. All so, right. So, what do I need to do here? So, you can go on. Um, we just printed this out from Epicurious. I find their stuff, you know. Mm. What? I'd rather just make things up from scratch. But not gonna combine the dice segments of one medium orange, um, six pitted and sliced. Um, Castle, cat, Castle Vitrano olives. Never been able to say that. Okay, we need some olive oil. We need two tablespoons of olive oil, a medium bowl. Then just before stirring, add in blah, 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 blah. Okay, we're gonna throw in some parsley. We're not doing any of this right, what? I don't really We have olive oil up there. Did you? See It's that package that looks like the one that Vito Corleone held, had the knife in. Parsley. It's up here, up here. Okay, there are two hard-boiled eggs, because uh -huh. I knew this was, you already found them, in the door, in a jar. I, well, I don't know why I'm chopping these up when I could have just chewed them up and spit them out into the bowl. I would never do that. You can never eat dinner at our house. If you ever come to dinner at our house, don't eat the olives. At your own risk. Don't eat the olives. Just be like, oh, oh, no, yeah, I'm allergic. One diced hard-boiled egg, although. Okay. Hold on. I said, hold on. Well, I didn't know if something might go wrong with one. Okay, okay so there's there's roughly six olives. I've got the segments of one orange, and it says to chop them, right? Doesn't so it? So this is sort of like a tangy kind of, I don't know, I'm with olives. Does it have any it. other spices added to it? Mm. Mm -hmm. It seems like you need salt, but maybe the olives are salty enough. Maybe the sardines are salty enough. Linda, that's true. I had to that, obviously. Obviously. Okay, there's the olive, uh, orange. So orange? Wow, this is very interesting. Little dishy poo. Here. I will dice the egg. Nurse! No, I'm kidding. Oh my god, I cut that artery. Suction! You're not, you're not seeing this. They, know. Why? they don't want to see. Yes, I'm cutting do. up a dumb Always. egg. That's what There's no, 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 they don't. They rather listen to you insult me 
or doing I something stupid. Insult. Well, you know I what I mean. Know. Not, not insult. So there are several people they throughout like, the week that told me I need to shut up. So ignore them. I'm not. They totally I'm ignore not. them. Those are those are people Oops, who don't I like strong it. women. Okay. We're supposed to do that at the last minute, and I didn't. So let's hit that with some olive oil, and then you can put the camera back up. And then some. Uh, I couldn't because you were going to be. I'm sorry. You were okay. how it was. Uh, the parsley. How much? Uh, here. Here. Tell me how much parsley. They do want to watch it parsley. I guarantee. It was two two tablespoons of olive oil. Two Two tablespoons of olive oil. Damn it. Okay. Measure That's a um, shit ton of parsley. One half cup. Well, then do less. One half cup? Roughly chopped parsley. It's going to be roughly cut. Right? Mm, better that. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, no, it's okay. I'll bring it. I'll bring it up here. I'll bring okay. it up here. So when when you're going to cut parsley, so you notice that parsley always grows with two little arms and a head. So what I always do is I always pull off the arms oh, like yeah. that and then pull off the head so that it gathers in your fingers like this all the way across so you got like there's a head there's a two arms what we're going to do is minimize the amount of stem that we're getting in our hands there scabs it's okay they're called children uh, the skillet is in the oven this is this is new york we have to store things wherever it's okay lovey this is the worst oven. I, this oven is so bad they didn't put the name on it. Oh, no, they did. Okay. Oh, yeah. We, we can do without that, though. Uh, let me see. Electric. <clears throat> I need a piece of my kitchen. Okay, little arms and heads. Yeah, here, now I can, uh, so the way I do it. Oh, I did that again. Didn't mean to, sorry. Is, uh, so you've got your little bouquet, right? Mm -hmm. And. Lay it down into a little little stack, right? Yes. And this is this is actually more of a chiffonade than a chop. This is also the only knife we have, and it's pretty dull. Well, I couldn't do this with a folding bread knife. I need to send this uh, back to the, the maker because it's. Then that leaves the stems in that hand, and you don't you don't want those. So I guess I need to do that again, don't I? No, I think that's. Can that just be enough? I think that's fine. <laughs> can I be lazy and say that's enough of that? Well, we can always add more if you think, but I, I think parsley can be a little over. So this is a uh, relish number one. Is there anything about that that's surprising to you? To me? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see the egg coming. But it makes sense. I mean, we have egg with caviar. Egg, egg is a very classic thing with fish. But you know what I think it needs? Pepper? No. Yes! Freaking exactly pepper. Pepper is exactly what it needs. The question is whether or not we have any pepper, because in this house, most of what we have is turmeric. That's true. Oh, you know what? Gra no, I, I know. Want, I'm looking at those capers, no, we you did. know, and I'm... I know, me too. Um, but we are... Oh. We don't have any black pepper? No, we did. We moved it over here with us. I know we did. It's in here. Get that pepperoncini. There's pepperoncini in there. The envelope on the far left of that basket. The basket. The far nope, nope, that's a chocolate wafer. Okay. There's, a, there's a plastic on. Pepperoncini? Pepperoncini. I thought pepperoncini yeah. was the. I thought pepperoncini was the little green. Pepperoncino. You know what I meant. <laughs> it's red pepper flakes. I should have just stuck with the red pepper flakes. I didn't mean to throw you under the bus. That's okay. I'm gonna add. Learning new things. I didn't. I have never known that. I thought it was called. This is Calabrian style. We got this at uh, oh, okay. what's the Calistian? Calistians. Yeah, that's gonna make that jump. Yippee -ki. Okay, Yippee -ki. that's, that's more interesting than. All right, so that. that's that's relish number one. Relish number one. Here, mm. put it in here. My spit brought a lot. It does make salt. Okay, well, here then. Maybe, you know what? Ta Ooh, give me some of the brine. Give me the brine. No, 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 no. The brine. The brine from that. 
Who so what? Was awesome the word you were looking for? Look, we're down to 4,703 people because we. Oh! The second that I started spitting those olive segments into this bowl, all, we lost all the families. Yeah. Lesson learned. All right. Fuck off the lot of you. I'm moving that into this little bowl. And it fits perfectly. Okay. I shall rinse. What? You're gonna rinse what? The mixing bowl. Oh, I'll do it. You talk and talk us through the next. Uh... Oh, that's really good. Actually. All right. Um, smoky tomato. By the way, it's being being a uh, an apartment in New York, of course, we don't have a, uh, a garbage disposal, so I'm gonna let everything. Yeah, you do that. You know what? Okay. I, what, I, what I do is I flush everything down the toilet. It's really fun when you go in there and find something floating, like orange wine. Um, One night after we cleaned up, three I went. I, I we, we cleaned up after some meal. I, I went to the bathroom like it was late at night, and I walked in and I saw something. Turn on the light. There was an entire shrimp floating in the toilet. And for some reason, it just seemed really strange. Like we want to see how many people we can lose. I, like, I want to see if I can get that number <laughs> down. I want to see if I can say things to get that number down. We have four thousand. Oh, we're down to four uh, forty-eight eighteen. So people are leaving in droves. Out. So forty-seven. Yeah, you got something better to do. Of course you do. Of course, it's not so quarantiny anymore, is it? All right, what's next? Did you have a bad day? I know you didn't. You actually had a good I'm day. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. I'm just sick of my shit. Three cups slivered almonds. Okay, we don't have slivered almonds, and I wasn't about to buy slivered almonds, and I don't buy slivered almonds. Um, because I, they go bad um, very, very quickly. So I had a bag of, this is just roasted almonds from Amazon. How many cups? You know, it might as well be. 365. Three quarters of a cup. I'm just gonna check this out. Then... These are salted? What? So this is gonna be like a Romesco you kind of action. The king of where the fuck did you put it? Where the fuck did I put what? The sunburnt what? tomatoes. They're up here. Hi. Right. By the way, these uh, almonds, I don't know how long they've been in that bin, but they're they're pretty stale. <laughs> so they're not toasting them. No, we're not gonna toast. Not? They're already toasted. It says okay. me, okay. No, because slivered almonds almost never Brown. are. These have already been down. nah, we're not gonna mess with it. Screw that. We're just gonna chop them up. Okay. Look, the loyal people have stayed. 4,762 people. We lost about 150 people in three minutes. When you talked about toilet stuff. You know, that was a thing. I like to play to a smaller room. By the way, okay. we're, for time. those of you that have asked, we are uh, more, more tickets are gonna be going on sale for the live tour. Beyond the Eats um, later in April. Uh, we're adding, I think, about seven, eight more cities. So keep an eye open for that. We might be coming to a town near you, and you might not be busy that night. I don't think there's a town anywhere in the country that's not near or something else. From looking at the street, Would you like to call that three quarters of a cup? Will you? It's a lot more than that. You think that's more than three quarters of a cup? Yeah. Really no. Think. Okay. Well, I don't agree. I don't know if we can. We have, the only cup measure that we have is a one-third cup measure, which is in that drawer. Because I didn't hide that. It's actually a half cup. Is it a half cup? We have a half cup too? Dude, that's way more than Shit, that. you're right. <laughs> it's like a cup and a half. It is not a cup and a half. I guarantee you it's not a cup and a half. It was a cup, and I bet if I tapped it down. Okay, and why are we not? Okay, you don't want to. It's a, it's a three quarters of a cup. Okay, third now of a cup. Of what? You know, serving this fish is worse than preparing an entire meal. Uh, sun dried tomatoes. Sun dried tomatoes going into the same bowl. Jace and. 
Sun dried tomatoes, do they need to be chopped? Diced. Damn it. This means I gotta get in there and get all dirty and stuff. Here's the best. <sighs> Woo! We've got mm. garlic, garlic. You really wanna use that when we have this? <laughs> we are a press. <laughs> a press? I know, I have a knife. I would never own a garlic press. You're I the one that know. has a garlic press, and we don't have one here. I, I am know. not using I jarred oh my God. garlic. Where did this even come from? Sophia brand. Like Sophia Coppola? When did you buy it? Like, oh, we bought this at, um, it's kosher. Well, of course it's kosher. It's it. garlic. <laughs> That's kind of saying it's gluten-free. It's also gluten-free. Oh, Can I have another cocktail? Yes, I will make that if you okay. do whatever it is you're doing. Okay. okay. So I have to have some, uh, this is the smoky tomato and almond relish. Um, I need uh, one third cup diced oil pack. Dried side, okay, dried side tomato. Okay. Sun dried tomato. So, and we have to have some of the oil, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. This is, holy crap, there's a, I think that's cutting there professional. That's that's there. That right there is to keep them pieces under the earl. Cutting there professional. Just plant it like it is. Or it's to use as a target. That. All right. I need how much of this? Because I'm I'm not going to stand here all night cutting up these Sunday tomatoes. They're very oily. Third of a cup. So I don't like the ones that are packed and that are dry. Much. Third like of a one. cup. Third of a cup. I'm, I'm going to nail quarter this cup exactly. From the jar. How much? One quarter cup of oil from the jar. Okay, fine. And schmolt paprika. One yeah, quarter also... of a cup of oil. I can do that. It's like a really huge lifetime supply of paprika. Which I'm really into paprika. I like paprika. We can't. Here, we're going to. Re. It's like. I don't want to say what inserting this reminds me of. I'm just... Let's keep the memories to ourselves. <laughs> I didn't say it was a memory. <laughs> okay. Hey, did you that's get your, did that's you get not your... a memory. It's what? Did you get the oil? I did. I got a um, quarter of a cup. Per your instructions, I might add. Well, I'm Oh, we're back up to 4,825. So we gained people, even, even though, even though I <laughs> talked about. Like, okay, bedtime. Even though I talked about shrimp in the toilet. Maybe that'll be a song in the new tour. Shrimp? We are working we are on the music. On shrimp. We can't. Oh, yeah, that's right. What the blazes is that? Uh, I had a loose nut. Get in the way. Let's not talk about that either. That's private. Why do we have to. Make things dirty. I like a dirty martini I'm about to make. Are you making yourself a dirty? Yes. With a kickerberry. Just remember the, the, the vodka's frozen already. So you don't need much ice because we don't have much ice because we don't have an ice maker. We only have ice trays. So we've already gone through one ice. Tray. You're right on the edge. I swear to God, you're what, right on the how edge. How much more ice do you need? I just gave you my other. I'm just warning this you. Is, this isn't, isn't like home. Okay. Seriously, because, you know. Listen. It is Chopin, which is, you know. My we favorite. like potato vodka. <laughs> and the last time that we were, we didn't, they didn't have a smaller one. So we bought the 1.75 liter <laughs> bottle of Chopin. <laughs> it's also that kind of bottle is referred to as a torpedo. Look, I don't ever want to be caught out. I'm tired of chopping this with this dull ass knife. I'm gonna cut my arm off in a second. It's not a dull ass knife. These are hard to cut, they're very leathery. Are you making fun of the fact that I'm prepared? You know, a lot of women would also find that annoying. We're having a little tiny apartment in Europe. We certainly have like the largest size of everything. These are not bouncy paper towels. What the hell is this? I thought you said you bought stuff. I didn't. These are. Oh. <laughs> this 
this meal is I never know. going to get made. It's already. I feel so sorry for you. Eight, we're 49 minutes in, and we don't. Okay, so what? Okay, um, here's the. Uh, oh, I do. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're not toasting these because they already are. We could microwave it to make it hot. If that's what we want to do. Okay, so the uh, uh, the sun-dried tomatoes are in there. Um, the, the almonds are in there. Uh, smoked paprika, a teaspoon. In the door. Look in the door. I think I put them in the door. Okay. Paprika in. Uh, that's going to make me now the finely diced cloves of garlic. I got some of that up my nose. I just like snorted Istanbul. Um, it's what? Who is it? No, I'm sorry. They padded. What? They padded? Do they snort paprika in the depotted? No, I don't think it's paprika. I don't think it's paprika. Oh, all right, that hurts. I'm gonna put the fire out. Guys, you're making a lot of comments, and I really appreciate that. You need to back off just a second because. Wait, 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 wait. I want to see that. We used to teach sailing and canoeing. We could lash the airbeds together, or failing that, use duct tape. Is this duct the cruise? Tape. I think you're still talking about the I don't cruise. Know why, I don't know what that has to do with one of them. Ow! You're talking about the cruise. The QQ cruise. They're not talking about the QQ cruise. I don't think there's going to be a QQ cruise because we could. Only fit about 12 people on that pontoon boat. Unless there's a toilet, we can just flush things down it and see what floats. That'll be the... You're mocking me. <laughs> You're mocking me. Don't think I don't know. That'll be the party part. Where's your, um, where's your garlic press? I hmm? don't have it. You, mm. your fingers are going to stink like garlic. My fingers are going to have an aroma. I'm going to put these in the sink. They cannot go down. Well, nothing can go down the sink. This is New York. I understand. Okay. What I like to do before I peel them, like, well, don't, you're gonna hit that drink. That's the most precious thing. You are thing just like life. Mr. Guy. Super naggy tonight. I'm sorry, I am, okay. aren't I? Yeah, okay. Hey, can I can I officially apologize for that? Yeah. I am sorry. Okay. For being I will not way. hit your drink. And I will stop yeah, nagging. Okay, we're gonna watch you so mash this is your the, garlic. This is the payment, I'm not, it didn't say mash, it said fine dice, didn't it? I don't yes, think it well, said anything about mashing. I'm a quiet one. Adopt you. Okay. What? Someone's a quiet, a quiet one. Who wants to be Yes, quiet? I didn't, I didn't travel with my, um, garlic press. Cute you goose. Let's point it down, rub your garlic. Up in the toilet. We got another piece of paper towel that is not bounty. Cruise ships are highly polluting. I totally agree with that, but I know that Highly polluting? Been... It's totally All right, true. well, we can just do a... We're a just canoe. We'll do a canoe trip. So I have Somewhere. the garlic. This is very dry. What were the garlic. greens? Not... The greens uh, were. Um, what greens? In last week's omelet thing, I used escarole. Did somebody asked? I used escarole you do and use escarole. yeah, and arugula. Pretty bitter to kind of combat the the egg, which was really I thought nice and peppery, which is great. Where did I get my necklace? My necklace is awesome. It is a, my necklace is actually a, like a collar oh. from the, from Deco. I'm actually gonna be older than that. So it's like you would put it on a plain dress to dress it up. I do all things vintage. So thank you for noticing. You know how I'd like to see that. No. How would you like to see that? I'd like to see just that. Train trip. Victorian. I don't know that it is Victorian. I actually think it, it's more Deco, but the shape is wrong for Victorian. Yeah, it's not quite Victorian, but it's ish. A descent collar. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is that actually. What? Descent. Uh, RGB. It is. It's got a lot of uh, RGB happening. She was hot. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pensacola. You're not watching me do this anymore. Yes, I am. Go, Daddy, go. Go, go, daddy, go, go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Uh, RB, yes, RGB was truly amazing. What does turmeric taste like? Kind of like dirt. Cool. Tastes like orange. There is a river cruise on the boats in Portland, and they're really fun and beautiful. A um, friend of mine in Portland had um, a vintage tugboat, a uh, wooden one that they turned into um, like a cruise. Actually, it was a, a like a floating classroom, but I think that would be really fun. You know, a vintage. Okay, there, there's it pretty. Did that get everything in there was supposed to? Um. I think it did. It said kosher salt. We don't have any. And I know everybody's shocked. No, but you know what? We do have. Um, we, what we have we is have... we have coarse sea salt. No, no, but which we have is this. not Look. the same. Oh, dear. And this is like, like a. I think we need a little bit more oil. I, I may not. This stuff, have, uh, I know. It's kind of like. Where's the. Um, where's the. The sun dried tomato tomatoes. jar? I'll put it back in the, the fridge. <clears throat> Let's go so to the fridge. On, uh, Let's go to the fridge. Quarter teaspoon of fridge. It's so weird to work in this little teeny itty bitty kitchen. It's kind of fun, actually. Too much taste yellow. Yeah, exactly. Turmeric tastes yellow. Ah! It tastes really, really, really it tastes golden. Tastes very. I don't look sure. like this is a problem. This you all over. He's like the he's like the king of like wadded up pieces of paper. I basically can't do anything without a paper towel in my hand. That's true. All right, so okay. that's number two. Number two. Should we taste it? Do you want to taste it? I'm gonna make a number two joke. Okay. Mmm. How is it? Oh, that's nice. I think most of these things would be better if they sat for an hour or two. Mm-hmm, probably. Right, so I'm gonna move this. No, I don't know, we have not properly outfitted this kitchen yet, so. No, we haven't done anything to this kitchen. But you know what? Do you guys have your kitchens all perfectly outfitted? Hmm? Do you? Cause. Liars. Yeah, taste division, there we go. So pretty. Okay, last one. Last, last one. Which what is you it? said finally, oh, there it is, red onion. <sighs> He's reading the recipe. Whoop. Ooh, that's right. a super, super Lithuanian. I just like the way that I made the corner. Oh, the corner of his head. Um, I'm looking at which tattoo? His tattoo. His tattoo says, "Can I tell? Can I tell them what it says?" It's from the sun also rises. It says, by "Never a, be daunted." Personally, you need to look at your own arm more I often. Don't. That's why it's there. And yes, for the, what do you look? Me. You. <laughs> Don't be daunted. For those of you that are Jet Tila fancy, and I have identical uh, tattoos on the insides of our left arms. So, um, the small apartment kitchen thing. First of all, I think the huge kitchens are overrated. In fact, we met today with, um, sorry. A company that a makes company. wonderful smaller, well, they make good big things, but they also make really good small. What? Things. I don't know. I just was like, I'm just going to be getting sick. You keep... Who's getting sick? I don't know, just like going back and forth. Um, yeah, I know the acoustics are terrible. Um, Red onion. Uh, anyway, and yes, we're getting a much better stove. But, um, well, I think we're gonna get smaller. Yeah. I remember um, seeing on um, one point, like New York Times, when they first started doing digital online stuff and a woman making, and I don't remember her name now, Eleanor or somebody maybe? Eleanor. I don't know. I'm gonna have to get all of you in there. I can't get far enough back. Because it's such a tiny what is it you're trying to see? Nobody wants to see all, I know how fat I've gotten. I know, and you have to get further and further back to see all of it. Thank you for reminding me. And people are saying the sound is better because it's probably so tiny that you don't, you can't get very far away from the microphone, I'm guessing. Um, I only need two, I have two tables. Um, but I just was amazed at how, um, and I'm sure kitchens, like professional kitchens are like this, about how efficient you have to be with a small amount of space. I like small kitchens. You, you do? I do. Yeah. Like. Don't like dull knives. No. I've chewed on this one way too much. Stop chewing on your knife. I need to stop chewing on my knife. It's an expression. 
Yes, less room, less crap. It's so true. So we're gonna keep this kitchen small. Okay. Uh, one Serrano. Um, Serrano. So I did. Oh, here they go. Jeepers, creepers. What are we supposed to do with this? I don't many know. Serranos? They didn't sell anything less than that, and I, wow. I had time to go to one place. And they put them in. There's I hate sink. this kind of container. Ooh. All right, I'm using it as a trough. Right no, no, I just didn't want them to have to see all that cut stuff. What's the? Uh, the COVID twenty. One seed final. Okay, this is gonna be hot. It's gonna be um, hot. Yes, it's a lot. It's a package. huge Serrano. It's true. Really, is that a huge Serrano? Because I've never. I don't know what. Big yes, it is. he and Jet have the same tattoo. By the way, you seem cranky tonight, says someone. I seem lucky. Cranky. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be cranky. cranky. I'm not cranky. I'm not. I'm not cranky. He's been pretty good recently, actually. Uh, I've been pretty good. Yeah. I've been better. I'm anxious. I have a book manuscript. I know. Anxiety. Everyone tell them it'll be a okay. Okay, what's going on here? She's seating the Serranos. Uh, see, I she's the back of my finger. Yes, we're going to go What's really, home. really important, though, is if, like, at this point, if you have, like, an itch in your nether regions, don't... Don't do it? No, don't do it. Relax. Don't do it. Anxiety is very real. I'm going to tell you all about it. He is hangry. I'm not angry. I'm Hang not hangry. Hangry. I'm not hangry. 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 I don't know what's wrong with Do not me. rub your eyes. Yeah, Someone thinks you're your being... I don't know what's wrong with me. Something is wrong with me. I know, and I know it. And you're very good to put up with it. I, I'm, I'm not myself these days. A lot going on. Okay. Chopping the Serrano. Gosh, it's amazing how a pepper, even from this distance, can make your... To Coming in close. Coming in close. Amazing. Pepper cam. Doo, doo, doo. If your knife is sharp, it's easier to go in if. from the back side, That's skin right. side up. And I don't cut all the way through to the end. Get rid of those seeds. Yeah, I did. I agree. Yeah. This isn't a TV show. Is it's it? not a quarter. Chola hot sauce. Yeah, we do have chola. Why do we have chola in there? What? Um, Asked, we have chola because um, I wanted a hot sauce to offer as a side thing, and I didn't want to buy Tabasco because I don't like it, and they didn't have any other hot sauce that I liked. All right, there's the uh, serrano. So that's onions and serrano right now. Now we need uh, two tablespoons of fresh lime juice. Is chola the best sauce ever? Seriously? Is what? Is no. Chola the best so hot no, sauce ever? it's not the best hot sauce ever, but it's a good hot sauce. I like it better than... Uh, Our friend Bob gave Alton... Oh! Gave Alton this. <laughs> Why is there water in there? <laughs> because I always keep water in it. It's a water pitcher. Okay. I love that water pitcher. See, that's supposed to be white asparagus. I love I, this. I know. I recognize it. And a radish and a sardines. <gasps> Look, this is like apropos to what we're eating tonight. Oh, here's the cool part. Okay, okay. Um, I need a radish. Right here. Just one? Yeah, just one of those, because these things are huge. So I'm going to get a, as really, much. they grow things quite large in these parts. It calls for uh, two tablespoons of fresh lime juice, but I'm just doing one, one lime, and I'm going to call that a day. Well, look at the trash we've got. See, if we... It's pretty trash, though. Seeing it, if we were doing this show at home, we'd be able to make that disappear. Yes, we did. <clears throat> I have to figure out the, <coughs> the shooting part of this whole thing to get far enough away. <coughs> we're not going to need, I'm so sorry, I'm coughing. It's the pepper. We're going like to need, we're going to need the, I'm glad you do. It looks elegant. We're going to need the, um, good use of the multitasker, the coffee blend by Alton Brown, signature blend, available now. This is my drink. With the caper bears. Right. I'm gonna now you know we need. roughly chop up a uh, cup of mint. Wow, that's a lot of mint. Um, Shit. So the cool thing that you have on this set of Good Eats the, is the. Um... Ah! It's good. It's fine. So everything's okay. <laughs> Would you like a non-bounty vapor towel? We have a device called a uh, an opti line. That's okay. It's fine. Is that what you're talking See, about? See, it's so tiny. The Opti-Glide, which we... Opti oh, sorry. I don't... What are you trying to do? I'm... 
You don't need to see all of them. Oh, oh God. You don't have a lens that wide. <laughs> all of me. My COVID-20. Needs. I didn't say that. You know what I do? I gained at least 10 pounds during COVID. I already wasn't. Can you hold this for a second? Of course. Here, we could just do this so that everybody can see. Nobody needs to see me chiffonade some pendant. Do well, I was going to say here is like, let back. Ooh. Now everybody can see both of us. Nobody needs to see me do this. Nobody cares. This is culinary. And everybody, anybody knows that any kind of culinary training is not really popular on TV anymore. Unless we could make it a competition. You could time me, or we could see how much of this I could do without looking down. Ow! Every time. I'm Someday okay. it's actually not going to be fun. I'm okay. Um, I'm good. Well, we did have competition. We should do that again. with the. Oh, we should do our game again. The game thing. Sure. And then... Very Maybe we can have a tournament. A tournament. You have a tournament Pick of one, champions. One, whatever one. Tournament. That's a lot of mint. This is feeling very mint heavy, but I love mint. It, I think it's basically a mint relish. A mint relish. I adore mint. So there was a place in basically, Portland. Basically, because you can make a jewel. I'm sorry. There was a place in Portland that you really liked called um, Kachka. Russian. Russian. Yes, Russian restaurant. It's very I love charming, Russian food. super in pickles and all this. We have no audience. They probably find us. So we're gonna put the another phone onto our uh, tripod. We have no idea what happened other than Elizabeth got a phone call, and um, and it locked up uh, the you account. Did they jump so. Over now. Uh, I'll put it on a airplane. So tell your friend that he completely blew our our stream. So, five of you are watching. Tell your friends, all five of you. So where were we? I was chopping up mint. <laughs> this is uh, another phone. Here's the phone that... I was trying to go and like, tell people that. <sighs> we got a phone call. She got a phone call. Because here's the difference. We usually use my phone, which doesn't get phone calls. You want to know why? Because nobody ever fucking calls me. But then we also use a phone that isn't hooked up to sell. Right. So, uh, we're back. We have 387 of you back. Um, we couldn't get that feedback. I'm Sorry. Sure he'll, um, be able to tell. Make sure he knows. I, I want him to know. I, I, <laughs> so I, I was chopping up. I was doing a, a chiffonade of uh, mint. Yay, and, um... Oh my God! Do you see how fast I can do that? Not many people. Do that. I should be on. Uh, I should be on a tournament. Yeah, should we be on a tournament? Yes, of course you I have. Don't be, I don't want to be on a tournament. Fuck that. Stupid. Here, I'm um, telling people. Um... Just tell all your hundreds of friends not to call you. <laughs> Usually we use a, a phone that's, uh, we keep hoping to save up for a, a new phone, but um, it's, it's being used for, for something else right now. Um, photographing. Uh, really? It's a long story. Anyways, I make these stacks of leaves when I do a chiffonade. That way, you can just line them up. And, uh... Line them up! Nobody wants to see you cut things. She do. No, they don't. Oh, you have. Hopefully a thousand. What? A thousand of, of our best friends are back. Yeah, because there were yeah. a thousand. So, no, tell, we had, please we had, tell, tell... We had almost 5,000 people here. But yeah, tell your please friends we're back. Tell, yeah. Yeah, we couldn't get back on the old, uh, the old feed. Thanks, YouTube. You know, if we had our own network, this wouldn't happen. We should do that. Why can't network? we just get our own freaking network? You know, I don't know. Your parents bought. Um, My parents owned a radio so station a and. A, well, it's stupid. Look at it. It doesn't know what the fuck it's talking. Oh. Just turn that thing off. It's just going to cause problems. The feed is jammed. It's okay. We're almost done here. The anyway. feed is jammed. Da, 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 da. Where are we going to serve all? I guess we're going to serve it over there. Okay, so, all you all you QQ people, let your friends know that we're still... Nobody wants to see this. I would show you guys my Here's knife work. Switch. Nobody wants to see that. Yeah. Well, Listen to that. Listen to that action. 
That's enough. I'm not doing any more. Okay. Was that, um, was that like a Fosse move? No, if it had been a Fosse move, it would be like, I would have pulled my hat down and then brought my hand up and then I contort my leg like this. I'm not, I'm oh. not aware for that. The last thing this calls for is a, uh, a medium radish diced. In the meantime, I'm going to get the fish out. That'd be a great idea. Should I? Here, I'm going to show them how I would. Do what? Uh, do the radish. I'm going to do this radish. Do it. Do the radish. I think, I think, I think radishes are so beautiful. Radishes are. This board, though, is, is ridiculously dirty with mint. But it's all going, it's all going in the same place. So I'm going to half that, right? And then I'm going to kind of make little wafers out of that. A wafer. A wafer thin. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to lay that half down. Right? Lay down. And I'm going to cut into baton. Notice I'm keeping it all intact by putting my finger on it as I draw through. Whoop, that's what you're going to try to keep from happening. So I'm going to keep the fish in then the turn. tins. Yes, keep the fish in the tins, absolutely. Tininess. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh. So there's one half radish, and then uh, just uh, you know the same thing. It's it's really not. The point is is to keep the mass together and just use your fingers for that. And turn. And one, two. You know, I never have strange women calling me after hours. I just want to mention that. Well, Becker's a little weird, but it's not strange. It's men, men, her men friends calling her up after hours. I'm gonna have to buy a gun. I'll have to buy a shotgun and sit on the porch. There. So there's our, there's our, you know what? Okay. This is gluten for quinoa stuff, but we So, no, 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 it's not the quinoa stuff. I got the four grain, it's rye. No, um, so is this Scandinavian bread that's got... Um, that's... This is different. I, oh. I don't know where it oh, is. Oh, here, 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 here. That's because I hid it from you. You do this. We live in New York. Like... So the here's the... You can never find anything. This is... Uh, I love this stuff. And then because um, of, of Passover this week, I, I bought... Um, where is it? Where's the matzah? I bought matzah. You're, you're not asking me. You are, you are the worst at hiding stuff. Ah, matzah. So we can all see matzah, which I adore. I hope everybody uh, had a good Passover, by the way. It is over. Passover is over, right? That's weird to say. Passover is over. Right. Yeah, because it's, it's Tuesday. So it's not Passover. Anymore. All right. What? I'm going to mix this up. This So this didn't get anything else. Any other liquid? No. All right, you have that. This is supposed to get salt too. I don't think I put salt in this. This looks very aggressive. You have a salt. Uh, what I need is a spoon. Wow. What happened to the spoon? Dude, I don't know. You are the worst. Why am I the worst? Because you lose everything. There it is. It's not anything. What? It's like your thing. You lose I don't mean to be the worst. You're the best at losing things. You're the most losingest person. I'm a loser. <laughs> I get it. No, you're a big winner. Just... No, I'm a loser. I heard what you said. I got it. <laughs> you lose items. And your mom. But I love you. I've had a very, very... I haven't been good this week. It's been a... So uh, that's what uh, that's what that looks like, with the onion and the uh, radish and the mint and whatever the hell else was in there. Uh, yeah. Radish, lime juice. Oh, and the serrano. The serrano's in. It's gonna be hot as shit. Yeah. So whoa. Now see, I find that incredibly appealing looking. But you need to make room. We have to make room right. for another. All right. Well, I'll stand back. Where's scabs? Oh, hello. 
You're right. I think this is a very, very attractive spread. So which, which one was this? This is uh, That's the, the trout. trout. So they did that all in one piece. And then those are the small um, sardines, which I believe were caught were from the Balkan, even though it's an American company. And then um, these are the uh, smoked. Mm -hmm. Okay. True, true enough. All right, where do you want to set up the... Do you, now, typically one would just have cold vodka with this. Well, I've got my little dirty. Did you like really cold vodka? Don't you look at me. Here, I'll make it. Where's the, here, you know what I want? I want my little bitty, my little Amaro. There, and a giant it's actually a, pan. yeah, could you hold that? I mean, it's a two-handed situation here, <clears throat> just for scale. <laughs> By the way, this is <clears throat> gonna freeze. I don't want okay, freeze. well, I was gonna put mixed smoothies tomorrow with them. You ever guys ever do that? Put, um, there you go. Skull, no. It will, for sure. I'll have to get the blowtorch out. No. Yes, at least 10 inches of vodka. No, that's more like, mm -mm. That's 30 inches. That's right, the same. Mm. Exactly. Notice I'm, I'm holding the neck static while tilting up the back end there. The best thing in the world. I mean, oh, that I bottle got, is uh, bigger than half of our apartment. Yes, yeah, exactly what we're commenting. <laughs> I got mustard. Yeah. Mustard? Yes, mustard. And then there's the, the hot sauce, the chorro. Um, and the chorro. The best hot sauce in the whole pickles? world. You want to um, try some with pickle? Sure. I mean, this is like a smorgasbord. So it is basically a smorgasbord. A smorgasbord is smorgasbord. It does look bigger on TV. <laughs> what? Uh -oh. Smorgasbords um, <laughs> are, have a lot of, a lot of things, these uh, items. We're completely out. We need a bigger freezer. We definitely need a bigger freezer. Or perhaps a solid. Am I in leather pants? I am. He's not. She is in leather pants. I'm in leather Lucky pants. Lucky me. The first woman I was ever attracted to was wearing leather pants. Well, I know Diana Rigg. Diana Rigg. I can't get my arms long enough. Leather. Leather. One pickle. That's pickle in a not jar. A pickle, That's not a 10 inch pickle. That, well, that, that, oops. Mm. Sorry. Sorry. What? These are delish? It's a, it's a good pickle. Okay. I have not had these. Yeah, that's about pickles. 10 inches. Can we? What's the red stuff? The red stuff is the one we made. That's with the, the, the um, um, sun-dried sun tomato, tomatoes. almond. Mrs. Peel, exactly. I think this is one of the more attractive. Uh... Here, you go first. Platters. Okay. Um, Do you want anything else? I can't imagine. We have all our vegetable groups here. And our, and our protein groups. Okay, let's do the fish first. I just want to, I find that a very attractive kind of spread. Yeah. We're definitely gonna let you know which relish is best. So okay. she's trying the um, egg, the parsley, um, egg, orange, olive thing with the smoked. Mm. That'd be soft if it was a bounty. You like not no, I can't do this. There's like wads of, of paper everywhere. It's not. Here, have a have a towel. Well, I think this is really nice. I only get with this bread. This is a very. You do or don't? I do. Yeah. So you advocate the smoked mm -hmm. sardines with with this. With the orange and the. Uh huh. Wow. We still haven't gotten everybody back, by the way. We lost a bunch of people. This is super healthy. Sorry about that hole. It is super healthy. I didn't want me to put my phone on here. If I put my phone on here. You don't. The problem is, is that, no, there's nothing you can do about it. Well, you could turn off the cell, but it might still come in if they're on your, I hate Apple. The only way that we get around it is we have, we usually use an iPhone that's not connected right. via cell or anything, accounts. Okay, so I really like this Ooh, I want some, whole I want setup mustard. here. So everybody just kind of stands around. Super tasty. Oh. Really good. I'm going to get one of these caviar spoons. Or, oh, caviar. They all are. Um, and put a little mustard on mine. Mm -hmm. I love this whole grain French mustard. So right. the, the nice thing about a meal like this is that it, it goes together very, very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> 
all this stuff could have been made well in advance. Yeah. So. It might be better if it were. Hmm. I don't know. I think super really. I actually like the freshness a lot. Okay. You're going to try. Mm. Now I'm going to go in with the non-smoked. The, the non-smoked petite. Chardonnay. One petite. Are you going to try the serrano? I'm going to try or the serrano. Almond? No, I'm going to go this. That's I'm pretty much rom line. that's pretty much romesco. Over yeah, there. but I'm excited about it. Okay. That's going to be pretty Intense. hot. I'm afraid. Okay. Well. <clears throat> Go for it. Wow. Especially with the bread. So the bread we're using is it kind of a whole taste experience is really like a tabbouleh. Really? I mean. All right, I'm going to try some matzah and wow. some trout. So, bat relish really kind of hides the fish. Ah, we don't want to hide the fish. Uh -huh. All right, so I'm getting some of this, the trout. And this trout, I believe, trout, when farmed via aquaculture, can be highly sustainable. I'm going to do a little bit of the romesco action on here. On the... No. I mean, I can't imagine you taste any fish at all. I do. I do, actually. You know what it needs? Mm. Lemon juice and salt. It needs a little bit more acidity. Yeah, more acid. It needs more that. acidity. I, I don't agree. think we have any. We do have lemon. Or, you know what? Since it's Spanish, do we have any vinegar? I bet we don't. We don't have vinegar. I'm not positive. With you. But we do have lemon. I you smell that. good. Like fish? Tinned no. fish? Oh, let's get a shower this week. I like when your hair gets caught in my whiskers, but. Like... <laughs> right. you, you don't really need to see our, our courting, our mating ritual, do you? No. No. So, I like that. I feel like. It's. Maybe if it were to sit here for a while, we would be more impressed with it. Yeah. Um. I thought that with like some goat cheese or something. Baked goat cheese. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna try the one you suggested. That's a baked goat cheese. I'm gonna try the small okay, sardines. So the running. What? The running to me has gone down to. The running? The running of the two, were, like the Romesco's out. Oh, I thought you meant our, our dwindling numbers because we never got our people back after we crashed. All right, here, I'm going with the uh, the small. What? Set your, what? Oh, you say your phone for do not disturb. I yeah. I forgot about that. Okay. Sorry, again. We just not, I forgot we're using our phone. My Woo! Phone. What? I like that with the radishes. Me too. Um, I mean, it's kind of its own thing. Like, I don't even know that the fish. Wow. Well, so uh, right now, what we're we're feeling is that the uh, this egg, orange, uh, parsley, olive mixture um, is winning. Yeah. Number two is the uh, the mint, onion, and serrano. And oddly enough, maybe I just didn't make it right because I'm I'm not I'm not as into the almond. Maybe if I'd made it the way it was exactly in the instructions, it would have been different. Well, I just think it needs something creamier. Like it's too for the fish. It doesn't Which do fish it. do you like best? Do you like the trout, the uh, the small sardines that I think are from the Baltic, or the <clears> larger <throat> smoked sardines? Well, I like anything smoked. So, but those are okay. They're very clean. Like they're really, they're super sweet. Clean. Yeah. Super sweet. This would taste good, I think, with a little bit of sour cream. Like like in the in the Russian style. Mm-hmm. I can see that. And then here's the trout, which is also very, to me, very clean. Very like. That's super tasty. So I'm gonna try. But then the smoked is like smoked. I so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna take a bite of pickle. 
spider trout. I am up. Do that. Do what I just did. Drip nothing but the trout and pickle. Take a bite of pickle and chase it with some, uh, and then maybe a bite of matzo. Gluten. Vodka. I have. Um, that didn't do anything for you? That's okay. I like it. I like it. But this stuff is the best to me. The orange, and I wouldn't have. I, I, the I was, orange egg. I was dubious. Parsley. It, I tell you. An olive mixture. I don't know why. Because actually, I love tangine stuff. And so, Epicurious, this is the winner. The uh, combined diced segments of one medium orange, six pitted and diced olives. Pestle of Toronto is what they asked for, but we used um, Chirignola and, uh, and Calamatas. Um, and then stir in the, uh, the chopped parsley, half a cup of chopped parsley, and one diced hard boiled egg. That's the winner. Yeah, that's the winner. I'm going to have a little bit more of that. With the fish, but. It's great with the fish. The mint and red onion. It's great on by itself. Is so good. That would be good with some other meat. Mm-hmm. Anyway, right. this is the fun of this. Do you hear her snoring? Can you guys hear that? Can you guys hear her? In the next room. Um, so this is the fun thing about 10 fish is like, I mean, I like... Damn it, she woke up. Never mind. Go ahead. The fun of what? The fun of putting this together? Well, it's just that it's fun to eat. It is fun to eat. And like, all these things can be made ahead of time. Yeah. And everything else comes out of jars. Mm -hmm. Mustard, pickles. You can put anything in here. The hot sauce. You can just put fish on cracker with some hot sauce and eat that. Yeah. I think it's really, it's great. And it's incredibly healthy. It's I'm going to have another one of these. I don't know if we talked about what kind of bread that was. Mm. It's that Scandinavian health bread. Do you I don't know. I didn't. Did I put it away? I didn't. I'm sure there's. Oh, here it is. It's organic three grain bread with rye kernels. Rye? And what else? There's but rye in there. And there's. Not, <clears throat> it's not gluten free, so I don't know what the hell you're doing. I think it is gluten free. There's no wheat. Well, they're not saying anything about gluten free. They're European. They don't know to. No preservatives. Kosher. Good source of fiber. Cholesterol free. Organic like long shot like wheat free. Okay. Wheat free. Wheat free. Ergo. All right. Mostly gluten free. Wrong, wrong, wrongity, wrong, wrong. I know better. Must have been the cocktails. Rye contains secolin, one of uh, several gluten proteins. So if you're gluten free, no rye. We still only got back. 3,810 people. All right, well. Oh, Sorry, I will do it right next time. Mm -hmm. Not your fault. I did not say it was your fault. We didn't know that a phone call would throw everything off. I could get a phone call right now and we'd be doomed again, only nobody ever calls me. Ever. When mom wants money, she texts me. Nobody calls me. Ever. All right. We kept you, because it's 8.30. And and I'm not saying the next time we do this, the kitchen won't look like this, but... Well, we next time we do this, we won't be here. Well, that was funny. So, so a, friend of mine, a friend of mine who was watching called me just Actually, because I said nobody ever called me and locked guy. up the feed. <laughs> oh, if you're just joining us, remember, there's only 400 of these bad boys um, that are uh, uh, suitable for framing, and when they're gone, they're gone. The coffee inside is so delicious, you'll just want to eat it, not even brew it. Just eat the beans, which are amazing. The multitasker. Go to altonbrown.com. Do it now, because tomorrow, when this stuff is generally released, these signed ones, these Hi. are gone. Hey, that. Well, Hi. She, it's because she... Hi. Hi. I'm saying, she's pointing to them. Are you going to eat the tuna, or... No, it's not tuna, it's trout, sorry. Anyway, um, so three different feeds, or two different feeds. Uh, we kept you long enough. Next time we'll be uh, back <laughs> um, in Atlanta. Um, you wrap it up. 
Oh, we can do our song? We can do, we can all three do it. We'll do a freeway family dance. Yeah, see, that's hysterical. No one ever pulls me. Except for them. Oh. Nah, 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 nah. I know exactly how to do this. Watch this. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. What? It's going to be like in the No, it's going to be fine. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my God. Just open the refrigerator. Oh, it's a pretty green light. It doesn't matter. It's Sleep family. tight. Uh, no, that's not the way it goes. What's the first night, one? Good night. Sleep, sleep tight. Pleasant dreams to you. Da, 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 da. Here's, Here's a, a wish and a prayer that every dream comes true. <laughs> She's trying to say, and now till we meet again. Adios, au revoir, Alvida Zane. Good night. Good night.